So it's interesting to say to me that the AS level or the A level math test, they really like to ask you cubic questions. So I would say this is like the question that you really have to know. This question is from the 2023 AS level further math paper though. So let's have a look. We are given this cubic function and we have negative three plus four i is a root, meaning that if you put this into all the z's, you will get zero. We have three parts. First part, we are going to find out a and b right here. Okay. So one thing that you have to know right away is that when we are given a complex root, let me call that to be r1, negative three plus four i. We need to know that its conjugate must be another root, meaning negative three minus four i. I will call that to be the second root, r2. Now. This is the cubic function, so we're supposed to get three roots, right? I don't know what it is yet. But there is certainly some relationship between the roots and the coefficients of the function. And here, you can use the Vieta theorem. If you know what it is, then you can just write them down right away. But I will explain that to you guys right here. If you look at this cubic function, notice that the leading coefficient is 1. So. I'm going to factor it, and we must get z minus the first root. So I'll write z minus r1 times z minus r2, and then last one right here, z minus r3. We can factor it, and we get this. And again, it's just 1, because we have z to the third power in the very beginning. That's multiplying things out. And then mix and match. I just can't match with the coefficients. OK, so let's go ahead and do this times that. We have z times z, c squared, and this times this is minus r2z. This times this is minus r1z. And then finally, here is r1, r2, plus z. And then we have to do this again. z minus r3. And of course, you can combine items here. I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to write this as plus, and then we have r1 plus minus r1 minus r2 like this and then z okay so i'm going to do the following c squared times z z cube z squared times this is negative r3 z squared done with this now take this term times that we get z squared and then this is plus parentheses negative r1 minus r2 z squared and then we'll take this times that and uh, I will just write it down here. We will have negative r3 times this quantity, so parentheses negative r1 minus r2, z. So we are done with that. Finally, this times this, so plus r1, r2, z. Finally, this times that, minus r1, r2, r3. Now, just put things in a nice order. All the way in the front, c to the third power. Coming up next, I'm going to just write down plus parentheses. Both of these terms have z to the second power. We have negative r1 minus r2, and then minus r3. And that is with z to the second power. And then coming up next, we have this and that, right? But if you distribute it, you will get positive r1, r3, Right? And then this times that is positive r2, r3. And then that's with the z from here. So they have z. So I'm going to just continue write this down. I'm going to put this down first because you can see a very nice order. r1, r2 plus r1, r3 plus r2, r3, z. And then finally, minus r1, r2 r3. So this right here is going to tell us the relationship between the roots and the coefficient. Have a look. From here though, this is what we need right away. Right? This is what we need right away in order to solve for r3. Negative r1, r2, r3 must be equal to positive 175. Yeah? So I'm going to just work down right here. If we take r1 times r2, we have negative 3 plus 4i times negative 3 minus 4i 
times R3 must be, here I can put a negative, right, negative, but I'm going to put a negative right here, negative 175. Okay, now, work this out. This is just in the form of a plus b times a minus b, so we get a squared, that's going to be positive 9, and then minus b squared. We have 4 squared, which is 16, i squared is negative 1, that will make this positive. And then r3 is equal to negative 175. Well, that's just 25, so r3 equals negative 175 divided by 25, so r3 equals negative 7, and that is what we need right here. Okay, then we will have to make connections. As you can see, negative r1 minus r2 minus r3 is going to give us the a value here, and then when we do like, just pick any two of them and multiply, and then just do the, all the rest combination, this will give us b. So let's go ahead and write that down right here. Okay, here, for a, that is just going to be equal to this. I'm going to factor out negative. So we do negative, and then we do r1 plus r2 plus r3. And as you can see, this is negative, and when we add them up, they cancel. So this plus this is negative 6, and then plus negative 7, we have negative 13, and we get a equals positive 13. Next, for b, okay, we will have to do r1 times r2 plus r2, well, let's do r1, r3. r2, plus r1, r3, and then lastly, plus r2, r3. Okay, r1 times r2 is this times this, which we already did, which is 25 right here. Right, this right here is the 25 from here. So we, this right here is 25. And then next, r1 times r3, I'm just going to do this times this, right? So this times this is 21. And then this times this is minus 28i. And then finally, r2, r3. So this times this, so take this times that is 21. And then this times this is positive. 28i. Okay, they cancel. This this is 46 plus that is 67. So part A done. A is 13, B is 67. Now for part two, we're just going to put all the roots on a diagram. So here we go. Firstly, we have negative 3 plus 4i. So negative 3 is the real number. Let's say it's right here. 4 is right here. So technically, this is 4i, and then we can just go ahead and put that right there, right? That's negative 3 plus 4i. Then, negative 3 minus 4i, so let me just put down minus 4i here, and then that will be down here. Okay, so you can also indicate that to make it super clear. And then negative 3 minus 4i. And then finally, we have negative 7. So let's say somewhere here, negative 7. And that's of course negative 7. Now do it. So finally, we are going to write down all the roots for f of z plus 2 is equal to 0. So this right here, it's like the new input for this, right? That means if you have z plus 2 as the input, to find its root, all we have to do is put them equal to this, this, and that. In another word, you can just look at all this and then subtract 2. But I'm going to show you guys the steps. Negative 3 plus 4i, that will give us the first root. And then z plus 2 equals negative 3 minus 4i. And then lastly, z plus 2 is going to be negative 7. And then let's just go ahead and do it. Minus 2, so we have minus 5 plus 4i. And then this right here is minus 4 5 minus 4i, and lastly just minus 9. And you can write down the z's, but I think this is okay. That does it. That will do it.